a macaque monkey who took now famous selfie photographs should be declared the copyright owner of the photos, rather than the nature photographer who positioned the camera, animal rights activists contend in a novel lawsuit filed on Tuesday. The suit was filed in federal court in San Francisco by People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. It seeks a court order allowing PETA to administer all proceeds from the photos for the benefit of the monkey, which it identified as six-year-old Naruto, and other crested macaques living in a reserve on the Indonesian island of Sulawesi. The photos were taken during a 2011 trip to Sulawesi by British nature photographer David Slater. Through San Francisco-based self-publishing company Blurb, he has published a book called Wildlife Personalities that includes the monkey selfie photos. However, the photos have been widely distributed elsewhere by outlets, including Wikipedia, which contend that no one owns the copyright to the images because they were taken by an animal, not a person. Slater, who is exploring legal action against some of those outlets, said he was very saddened by PETA's lawsuit because he considers himself an advocate of animal rights. Last year, the U.S. Copyright Office issued an updated compendium of its policies, including a section stipulating that it would register copyrights only for works produced by human beings. It specified that works produced by animals, whether a photo taken by a monkey or a mural painted by an elephant, would not qualify. However, Jeffrey Kerr, a lawyer with PETA, said the Copyright Office policy is only an opinion, and the U.S. Copyright Act itself does not contain language limiting copyrights to humans. The Act grants copyright to authors of original works, with no limit on species, Kerr said. Copyright law is clear, it's not the person who owns the camera, it's the being who took the photograph.